so uh, coming to the fat part that was an iron quantification part but iron quantification again our two star maps are a by product of fat quantification because we are using dixon signals and that's how i'm that is what i'm going to tell you so commonly used threshold is 30% and chemical shift encoded sequences form the basis for fat quantification so it's one thing that you have to remember is the chemical shift encoded sequences these are the basis these are like uh, gre sequences and uh, these are proton density uh, fat fraction sequences pdff quantitative maps are generated right so uh, this is something that you chemical shift sequences they are able to separate the fat and water at multiple eco times right and that is how they they quantify how much of fat is there they can be done in single breath hold and they need like 15 to 20 seconds is needed for entire liver they generate magnitude based chemical selective uh, uh, sequences or they um, make complex ones so the preferred one is the complex ones R2 star maps are the byproduct and used for iron quantification. This is what we were talking about. It shortens the TE, it, it, it enhances the signal decay. So the three thresholds which are being generated by such sequences, mild, moderate, and severe, and what we use is 5, 15, and 25 for, for mild, moderate, and severe. So that's how an ultrasound, we know how an ultrasound these look like. And uh, then this is how something it looks like on uh this is two person this is 12 person this is like a fat specific fat generated sequence again fat quantification these are the pdff sequences for fat and this is the byproduct which is used for iron quantification highest iron because it is having the highest value of decay then this and then this one and this shows that 1222 this is having the maximum amount of the fat right so that is how fat fraction is there